let's meet for lunch, said the president. But on Brexit, it wasn't clear he had much to offer. Until, that is, Boris Johnson arrived at the Elysee Palace, clearly buoyed up by his reception in Berlin yesterday. I was powerfully encouraged by our conversations last night in Berlin with our mutual friends. And I know that with energy and with creativity and application, we can find a way forward. At first, President Macron seemed to reject outright any compromise. Les éléments clés de celui-ci, comme le backstop irlandais, Key elements such as the Irish backstop are not just technical constraints or legal quibbling, but are genuine, indispensable guarantees to preserve stability in Ireland. But he then said small changes might, after all, be made to the withdrawal agreement. Like Chancellor Merkel, I am also very confident together we will be able to find something smart within 30 days if there is goodwill on both sides. But what if it all went wrong again? I asked the Prime Minister, what would no deal actually mean? Or is it effectively back to square one with more negotiations? And in that sense, isn't no deal a bit of a con? Uh, well, thank you very much, Libby. Uh, of course, as you know, a great deal of work has already been done to ensure that uh, the transition on October the 31st is as smooth as it possibly uh, can be. Not much detail there then, but maybe there's a plan. Let's work. <laughs> work? Well, kind of. After lunch, the president invited him to put his feet up. But in Brussels, the EU's chief negotiator seemed far less relaxed about the negotiations. I always say that the EU prefer an orderly withdrawal of the UK, respecting the single market, the integrity of the single market, and obviously the peace and stability in Ireland. And uh, I just want to add that uh, the no deal will never be the choice of the EU, never. President Macron may have styled himself as the hard man of Brexit, but as with Angela Merkel yesterday, he appears to have softened his stance, giving Boris Johnson some breathing space for one last push to try to get a deal. Certainly a newfound warmth was evident in their relationship as the two men prepare to meet again at the G7 in Biarritz at the weekend. Libby Wiener, News at 10, Paris.